Hey everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to handle authentication, I mean sign in to our Firebase. In this video, we are going to start creating our main activity and after signing in, move to our main activity. To do that, I'll create my main activity class and it's going to extend app compat activity. Don't forget to annotate it as Android entry point and we will have our binding uh, activity main binding and then we will overwrite our onCreate method and instantiate our binding object like this pass the layout inflator to it and set content views to views.root and go to your manifest add a new activity called main activity and set export it to true also don't forget to add users permission of internet so let's move back to our main activity i'll create a function called init and call it inside my onCreate method and inside our init we do have two tasks to handle the first one is going to be observe other users status and the task number two is going to be handle um, or start service or foreground service to uh, listen for uh, negotiations negotiations and calls so to do that I'll create two functions first uh, subscribe observer and the other one is going to be a start service function so let's create those functions right font subscribe observers there's a typo over here and the next one is going to be private fun start oops start my service and it's going to be start my service and we also do need a reference to our uh, username it's going to be nullable and right here using intent with the key of username i'll receive the username so if the username is still null i'm gonna finish and go back to previous activity so let's go back to our login activity and inside here if uh, the sign in is successful then I wanna move to other activity with intent of this from login activity to main activity class and also put some extra with the username and the value is going to be username edit text dot text to string just like that so we are ready to move from our login activity to our main activity let's run it and check it so I'll open the Firebase database as well using username Masood the password is 12345 if I sign in you can see we moved to our main activity and we didn't finish since the username that is derived from our login activity is not null so we are good to go but let me remove this uh, toolbar first let's go to our rest, to the values themes and move this to no action bar same for the dark theme okay so we are ready to work with our main activity I'm going to inject my main repository here and using a function called observe users status and pass a callback function called status of type list of pair of string to string which will return a unit to us using main repository I'll call a function 
subscribe or observe users status and it will have uh, a callback function so let's go to our main repository create function named uh, observe users status and it will have a callback as input with name of status and the value is going to be list of pair of string to string since we want the username and the status and it will return a unit you can see there's a list of paired of a username to the status so I'm gonna create the exact same function inside my Firebase clients called observe user status and pass a status to it let's create this function and go to Firebase client and inside here I'll set a value event listener to it and create an object of value event listener but since I don't want to work every time with this uncancelled because we are not handling the validation I'll just create my own my events listener is going to be open class and it's going to extend from value events listener and it's going to implement both of these functions so right here using this instead I'll use my event listener and just remove the uncancelled we can go back up here as well here and replace this with my event listener as well and remove this uncancelled to make our code a bit cleaner so right here I'll retrieve my list first so snapshots dot children and since we don't want ourselves as the user I'm going to use the filter function and get it that key is not equal to current username so I'll filter it this way uh, to remove ourselves from the list and then map it to a pair like it dot key to it dot child of status the value to string so you can see this is a list of pair uh, username pair to our status so I'll make it non null and you will see it's a list of pair of a string to a string and after mapping this list I'll call the status callback and pass my list to it pretty simple so if I go back to my main activity and create a log tag here called main activity and if I log it like this let's run our application and check if it's working so let's open the log cat as well and put this tag here and I will also open my real-time database let's write the username and password here and go back to our log section you can see uh, there is a method and the status is online and if you log in you'll see your name here and you're not supposed to since we are filtering the children's uh, using our current username and there is a error here because our current username is, is null at the moment because we forgot to annotate our Firebase client as singleton it means that uh, the Firebase object that is created from our login activity is different with our main activity so we do have to annotate it as singleton activity and rerun it again so uh, when the login activity fills this username it won't be null uh, inside our main activities reference from our Firebase client so let's run our application back again and check if it's working right now so I'll write my username here you'll see there's an empty 
so if I go back here and create a new object called let's say Mitch and the password is going to be one two three four type string and also say this is going to be online you will see our application will get notified so it means we are ready to uh, render our views using recycler view that hey recycler view there is a new object inside your list to do that let's move to the next video and start setting up our recycler view and preview the new user that is going to sign in till the next video see you everyone